Hi everyone, this is Rodrigo Sa from All About Aquaculture. I'm here today at the National Aquaculture Center of the government of Malawi in Zomba. This is historically one of the uh, greatest aquaculture stations in the southern part of Africa. So I will go around and show you what they have here, what they do in terms of genetic improvement program, feed meals and so on. So uh, here the team who is in charge of the genetic improvement program for tilapia is collecting some fin clips in order to characterize the different strains of tilapia and plan the breeding for genetic improvement program. So you can see them uh, there uh, first taking the fish uh, size and making sure also that they can get the fish that has been tagged. Uh, I will give them a second to, to get a fish so that you see what they do uh, in terms of uh, identifying the fish for the genetic improvement program. So here they are taking the, the size of the fish and giving the fish a number. And from there they will scan the fish to know exactly what is the number of the fish because they already have uh, pin tags. In, in, inserted in the fish and then here they will collect fin clips for genetic analysis and then the fin clips is put in the tube here and one step that is very important is that now they put it in a specific area with the as you can see a barcode there to make sure that the sample is well identified and then the fish is returned to the water. So that's what the team is doing here. But the beauty is that they have a setup in such a way that they can take the pictures of every sample that they are collecting. And they have everything here to print the barcodes and everything. It's a, it's a really a teamwork. And to make sure that also the fish is not stressed, they have a, a air pump here uh, that generates uh, air, which includes, of course, oxygen in such a way that the fish is less stressed during the collection of the, the fin clip samples for identification and uh, selective breeding for the genetic improvement program. So what is this species again? Tilapia? Oreochromus uh, chiranus. Thank you very much. So here, in collaboration with uh, other organizations, they have the genetic improvement program of Tilapia Shiranus. So they have here uh, a biosecure uh, pond where different uh, uh, families are kept in, in harpers for, for selective breeding. So it's really impressive what they are doing here. And here, one thing very important is that as you can see over there, we have uh, aeration. So they managed to put uh, uh, an aerator there to make sure that there is no uh, accumulation of organic matter uh, in the pond. So by aerating like this, not only it provides oxygen to the fish that are in the pond, but also uh, it allows bacteria to decompose the uh, organic matter coming from the uneaten feed and also from the fecal uh, matter. Uh, coming from the fish. So this is uh, another angle. What I really want to show you here is that there are some canals uh, between the, 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 the ponds. So for example, this pond has a very big dike, which is very good because here you can come with a truck or something. You could walk here, so it's really easy. And you also have a, a solar panel here. So in the night, this will probably line up and make sure that the, uh, there is light here uh, to, to uh, ensure the safety you know, of the workers and also prevent any unwanted uh, predator of, of the fish, including human predators. So it is really important. So this is an inlet pipe, as you can see. 
But what I really want you to see and observe here is the fact that uh, at the tip of the pipe, there is a sort of bag with some uh, uh, um, holes on the bag uh, that retains all the unwanted material coming sometimes from the, the canal here. So here at the level of the canal, the water goes in, but you can see that some uh, parts of plants and everything are there, but you could also have frogs, you could have snakes and everything. So by putting the bag there, you prevent unwanted material entering the, the pond. So that's what I wanted to show you here. So here, yeah, it is a pond that is well disinfected where they introduce the fish. Usually uh, during the quarantine, uh, uh, probably the fish that comes from outside. So that's where they introduce the fish. And what you see there as the white uh, 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 dots uh, along the, the dikes, uh, it is lime. So they have used the lime to make sure that they disinfect everything along the, 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 the pond, so on the dikes. So that's what they do here. You can see it all over there. So what I want to show you here is how this pond has been fenced. So it's always good to prevent the entry of predators when you have a pond. And these predators usually include uh, humans who can come and steal the, the fish. Uh, you have snakes, you have frogs and everything. And what people do, sometimes they just use uh, imported material, plastics and, and everything while they can use local, local materials like this one. So this fence is made of uh, 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 pieces of bamboo, bamboo sticks, as you can see, small ones cut and all tied together along a bigger uh, part of the bamboo here. So this part is, a, is flat and then you have again uh, some bamboos all along here. But it's really, really good and practical. You can see all over the, the, the dikes of the pond. So it surrounds the overall setting of the pond here. It's really, really, really good. And you can tell that the pond is well protected and easy to manage, easy to clean. And there is only one uh, entry point uh, in general with a pond like this. Or even if there is not only one entry point, there are specific entry points. So you control how people use this space and who gets in from where and when with, this, with, with the fence. So it's really important to adapt and use local materials as much as possible to achieve uh, high quality uh, work like this one. And in some parts, like here, you have uh, leads that are used for the fence. So a combination of bamboo and the leads. So it's not just the bamboo that you can use everywhere, but you can also use leads, which grows along the river side. So it's something usually available locally, free of charge. You just collect them, big pieces you cut, you dry, and you can make a fence with it. Here they empty the pond and they want to rehabilitate the, the monk. So you can see how they have been digging, making sure that they will construct a beautiful monk here for this specific pond. They have to the course. Only have to this one. That's it. That's it. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Okay. You collect it from there. Yes. After mixing the mixing. ingredients. Yes. Okay. Of course, it doesn't. Right. Okay. Where it goes up. Hmm. Yes. So there is a conveyor here. Yes. yes. It's a conveyor. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It goes up. Okay. And from here it goes to the extruder here. Okay. And here is it's where we have our heaters. So the feed is now fully bent here. After yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Here okay, after we make the fish to the till is come out. Okay, so you connect that and you get the pallets from here. 
Oke. Okay. Nice. Thank you for watching. As usual, I will invite you to like the video, to share it, and also invite many people who are interested in aquaculture in Africa to subscribe to All About Aquaculture, tout sur l'aquaculture pour Fil Afrique. Merci, thank you, bye bye.